There's one country in the Middle East where homosexuality is not illegal, Israel. Many gay Palestinians end up seeking refuge here because of persecution from their family and friends in the West Bank and Gaza. Few are willing to speak about their experiences. After days of searching, we found Rami, not his real name. He lives in hiding, terrified of being returned home. Now 23, he was first attacked when he was 12 years old. He fled to Tel Aviv from his home in the West Bank, but he missed his mother and returned. Rami, now 15, fled back to Israel as soon as he was released from jail. Rami worked as a male prostitute to make a living until he found this place. Shaul runs this center. Oh, this is Davida. Welcome. And uh, we have several activities and the service that we give to the community from legal servers, um, trying to persuade people to vote uh, against discrimination laws. And every Saturday, this place become kind of a club for youth. And we usually stand here, and the kids here are here. We give them a few things to, to eat, drink. The problem is that it's too risky to take our help. Receiving our help means it's like we are stamping you in the ass and saying you're officially gay now. It's an unbelievable situation that they cannot go back because their own family and the Palestinian Authority is chasing them. They cannot stay here because the Israeli police would chase them too. The Israeli police would like to deport them back. The Palestinian Authority, police, security forces, as well as their own family, close family, uh, would want to hurt them, sometimes even kill them, just because they're gay. Unable to work legally in Israel, Rami survives on casual work in bars and clubs around Tel Aviv. <laughs> Rami 